Friends, yeah, a quickie here. Uh, evidently, uh, I noticed on Facebook today, someone's got a video of, uh, of a housewife. I, I think, yes, a housewife working on getting, you know those, how biscuits nowadays come packaged? Yeah, instead of making your own, uh, the, the biscuits come packaged in like a tube. And you, uh, what you have to do is slowly undo the, uh, the outside wrapping. And then, yeah, on the container, it's cardboard with two metal caps holding everything in place. Okay. Yeah, for biscuits. Yeah, they can be anywhere from, oh gosh, it could be like a container that might hold like six ping pong balls, about that size. Or you got the bigger ones that probably a tennis ball would fit into, uh, most likely, or, or darn close. Anyway, it'd be a tight squeeze, but might make it. And that's the big biscuits, you know, the ones that when they're all done, they're, they're good. Yeah, and they're big, fat old biscuits. But they, uh, in, in this thing, a housewife is unwrapping one of those containers of biscuits, and all of a sudden they cut to, uh, it looks like an, uh, the, uh, an atomic bomb test. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, those things will, they will go, they will pop on you. Oh yeah. They'll, oh, they'll explode something awful. I know many a day in the dairy section, the supermarket I work at, um, especially when I was with A&P, I think there may have been a different way of packaging the darn things back then. But uh, yeah, if you uh, manhandle a, 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 a tube of biscuits, that have, especially if they're uh, you know, getting close to their outdate, they get real puffy and they're under awful pressure. And if you uh, if you hit them just right, give them a little bit of a pop or something. Next thing you know, you're dodging biscuits. Yeah, and and they'll come clean across the uh, the cooler after you. Oh yeah, I'm many a day I've gotten hit in the neck. Oh heaven help me if it was a real hand grenade or something. It would, but you know, biscuit though even that don't feel so good. It kind of, oh oh oh. Then you got biscuit dough stuck in your beard and stuff or caught in my ponytail. The uh, the darn things, they're amazing. And every now and then you'll see one you know, on the shelf whenever I'm neatening up the, the biscuit dough section of, in the dairy section, dairy aisle. Uh, you got to watch because every now and then there's one or two that just couldn't take the pressure anymore. And they, <laughs> they pop. Sometimes they'll send the metal ring. We'll go with the lead biscuit. Yeah, and so now you got, besides the biscuit hitting you, you got the metal ring. And frankly, you could lose a tooth. <laughs> I wouldn't, I'll tell you when, you, when you open those things, don't be looking at it. Because you're going to get one sooner or later. There's one, there's a biscuit with your name on it. It's kind of, <laughs> they're delicious. And there's, I, I don't know what else they can do. It's just that there's a lot of, I guess, carbon dioxide uh, from the yeast and all. And uh, the darn things just, yo, know, they just come out of nowhere. Next thing you know, oh, about the only other worst thing happened to me as far as that kind of thing goes. Uh, two things I can think of um, would be, uh, I remember we used to have eggs came in uh, cartons that were about, oh, about two and a half feet long. And about, uh, oh, about a foot and a half wide and about a foot and a half deep. Held quite a few eggs. It, it Frankly, it was, it was an effort to lift one. And uh, they uh, they were bigger than a soda crate. Uh, I, I can't think of anything you'd, you'd all necessarily know. But picture a box, a cardboard box that could carry something like 24 to 30 case uh, cartons of eggs. Okay. So it's about a 35-pound box. And I know one day... I, uh, I was picking one up and I, and you know, when you're doing this stuff, you're doing it kind of fast. You're trying to get them onto the, the carrying boat, what we call the U boat, where we can take it out to the, sh to it on into the store and get the, uh, the individual cartons onto the shelf. I'm, I'm throwing these things on and all of a sudden I lift up one box and the whole bottom came out and I had something like 30 dozen eggs, egg cartons just hit the floor. Yep, almost every last one of them broke. I was so mad. What happened? The guy uh, at the eggplant, I guess, didn't necessarily put the carton, uh, the box together right. Either didn't glue it, or somehow or another, it didn't get done right. <laughs> and I had, and so I said, oh man, well, that'll never happen. I grab another, after I clean it up, I pick up another box, pfft, they all go. After that, I checked every last darn one. There's about 
Eight, eight more in that doggone uh, pile of uh, egg boxes waiting to, yeah. And of course, I had this, the world's largest potential omelet uh, sitting on the floor of our dairy case, uh, our locker, yeah, our cooler. Oh, yeah, yeah. The only other thing that takes me back to a, a, a food exploding on you, uh, except maybe if you eat bad fish or something, but that happens in your stomach, right? Uh, and, th and that's rough too. But the only other thing I can think of is when I was younger, my father had a soda business. And he, um, uh, it, we, it was in the old days when they didn't necessarily have the screw caps. You know how soda was pretty much bottled in glass and they you'd return the bottles, they get cleaned, sort of, and then refilled and capped. And, and the caps were like pressure caps. They Well, you remember the old soda caps. Okay. Well, if on a warm day in the warehouse, you know, when you're loading the truck, if, if there was some guy you, you kind of wanted to, you know, razz or tease or whatever, and this really, I don't, I don't suggest doing this, uh, but you could take a case of ginger ale on a hot day, and it would be just like handling an A-bomb. Uh, honestly, I'm, it, it, it's, it's ginger ale. I know you're thinking it's ginger ale. What's the big deal? No. You, if you, it, these were wooden crates, wooden crates. In fact, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. I just realized something. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, look. See? Here's one of those cases. Okay, yeah, and the soda, oh, gosh, there's records in here. I wonder if there's any good ones. Sandy must, uh, hitching a ride, Vanity Fair. Gosh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to purloin these. Okay, yeah, don't tell the wife. Um, but, yeah, you'd have these filled with uh, 12 quart-sized bottles, uh, quart-sized, maybe 28-ounce to 32-ounce bottles of ginger ale on a hot day. After riding in the truck from the bottling plant to the warehouse, these babies were ready to go. They needed to be iced down, but there was no, no way that the warehouse was going to be air-conditioned. My God, what that would cost. And what you would do is you'd take this case and you'd slam it on the, uh, on, on the side of the soda truck. Yeah, or on the floor, and the, everything would just blow. Oh, my God. Yeah, all the... the it, it was just, it, honestly, it looked like an A-bomb going off, only it was ginger ale. Yeah, really uh, something you had to be careful of. I don't know. Nowadays, I guess it's different. Don't they use the screw caps and all that? They hold on a little tighter. But <laughs> You got to watch yourself around food. Darn stuff's dangerous. My heavens. Tell you. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, just a quickie for you. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Watch that. Uh, watch those biscuits, though. Yeah, you might want to get a face shield so you don't get, you know, if God, what if you're doing cinnamon buns and you get all that cinnamon in your eyes? I, I think that would hurt. That would smart. Okay. See you later. Bye now, friends. Other than that, the biscuits are great, aren't they? Oh my gosh, they're delicious. See you later.